Hey there everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I am Joe Marin, and welcome to another video here on Mobile Cup of Joe. In this video today, I'm going to be taking a break from all the unboxings and reviews and talking more about the Moto X right here. Um, the Moto X is my one of my personal favorite Android phones really of all time. Um, between active display, touchless control, the quick capture thing with the camera, all in all, it's a really, really strong product. However, there's always that kind of itch for customization that I've got that only usually a ROM can bring. However, with things like the exposed framework and other apps that require root access, you can really dig into the full um, framework of the Moto X and get a lot of those customization features you usually only see on something like CyanogenMod or AOKP, while still retaining those features such as the OK Google function as well as the active display. So in this little kind of mini-series right here, we'll be talking about unlocking the bootloader, um, flashing TWRP, a custom recovery on here, gaining root access, and taking a look at the exposed framework. Now in this particular video, I am just going to be covering the unlocking the bootloader part. We'll dive into root and all that in a video after this. So for right now, let's go ahead, let's get hacking, and see just how we can unlock the bootloader here. And the first step to really customizing our Moto X. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. Alrighty guys, and here we go with the process of how to unlock the bootloader for your, for your Moto X. A couple of things I want to point out before we get started. Um, one, I am running Android version 4.4.2 on the unlocked GSM variant of the Moto X. Um, this will avoid your warranty, this whole process right here, uh, unless you do have the developer's edition for the phone. In that case, you're fine, but this will be voiding your warranty. So if something goes astray, a Motorola will not cover your device after this. Also, do want to point out that um, I will not be held responsible or liable for any damage that you do cause to your device. So if you brick it, I am not responsible for that. Um, that is solely up to you, the user, if you decide to go into this process. Uh, this process right here should work for pretty much all variants of the Moto X, um, except for the Verizon edition, just because there's some uh, kind of quirks with that version of the Moto X. But the T-Mobile GSM Developers Edition, all those should work just fine right here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started in this process. So first, you're going to go ahead and open up your web browser and go to ElementalXDesigns.com um, from this thread right here by Nitroglycerin33. I will put a link in the description below for this uh, site right here, along with all the other sites we visit today. Um, right here, you're going to see something under how to unlock your bootloader or download file um, by Android File Host. This has things like ADB, Fastboot, MFastboot, and the necessary drivers that you need. You're going to go ahead and click Begin Download, and you're going to have to wait a few seconds. Then once it, uh, 10 seconds passes by, you're going to see a download that pops up at the bottom of your screen. And you're going to go ahead and let that download, and it is a zip file. It's going to search for mirrors and make sure it's all good. And once that goes through, you're going to go ahead and click on Primary Download. And you're going to get something right here. Go, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that for now because I already do have it. Because my Moto X is already rooted and everything. Um, but I can show you the process just as easily. So go ahead and go into our uh, files, go to downloads. I'm going to go ahead and type in element right here. And when you download it, you, you will get this zip file right here. Go ahead, click extract all, then extract it to wherever you want it. And when you do that, you will get something that looks like this right here. And the first thing you want to click on right here, uh, we're going to ignore ADB, Fastboot, and Fastboot, all that for right now. We want to click on Motorola Device Manager uh, 2.4.5. Go ahead and double click on that and hit yes that uh, this is okay to run. And it's loading up on Motorola Device Manager. All this is going to do is install uh, necessary drivers you need to complete this process for unlocking the bootloader of your Moto X. Now, I already went through this. All you're going to do is hit accept and agree to the terms. This is going to go through this for a couple minutes and install the drivers. Go ahead and hit cancel. Yes. And at the end, you'll get a screen that looks like this saying finish to the exit the setup wizard. 
Now, once we have that completed, um, we're going to go ahead and hop on over right here to our Moto X and turn it on. And from here, we need to hop into our settings and make sure that we have developer options turned on. So from your settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom. And if you do not see developer options on your phone, simply go to About Phone right here. Scroll down to where it says Build Number. And just tap on that a few times until it says, Congratulations, you are now a developer. Um, mine says, No need, you are already a developer because I already did that. But simply then back out of there and click on Developer Options, which is just above the About Phone part. And where it says Debugging right here, make sure that USB Debugging, that checkbox is checked right there. So after you do that, and get a nice email from American Red Cross right there, and once you make sure that the USB Debugging is enabled, all we got to do is grab our uh, micro USB to full USB cable right here and plug it into our computer and plug it into the Moto X as well. So once you have your Moto X plugged into your computer and USB debugging is enabled, um, we are ready entering some commands in the command prompt. So once you do plug in your Moto X, if, if it's the first time you're plugging it into your computer with USB debugging enabled, um, you're most likely going to have to install some drivers for it, which will just take a couple minutes. But once those drivers are successfully and finished installing, all we're going to do is in this file right here for the elemental designs that we extracted, just simply go ahead and zoom it in, right, or hold down uh, shift on your keyboard and then right click and hit open command window here. So after you do that, all you have to do is type in a simple command called ADB devices and you're going to see something like this. It says list of devices attached and then my phone and it says device right there. Uh, you can see where I am highlighting it. Now if this says offline, which it most likely will, um, if you're doing this for the first time, all you have to do is hop back to your Moto X and you'll see something on the screen, like a little pop-up saying, do you want to allow USB debugging on this device? All you have to do is hit OK on that, and once you do, you just have to come back here and type in ADB devices once more, and it'll say device right there. Now, once we have that completed, um, and then we are running online and everything, we have another command we have to enter. This command is called A, that is an S, so we can learn to type, that'd be helpful. ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And you can see on my Moto X right now we are in the bootloader right here. Now from here make sure you have a very strong battery life at least uh, probably 60 or 70 percent for completing this process just because uh, this is kind of high level stuff. For, well not high level stuff but um, you really don't want to have your battery dying out halfway through this process or else then your phone is pretty much screwed. Let's make sure you have a good full battery um, right here through this process. So once we have that in the bootloader, like so, we're going to enter one more command, and this command is called fastboot space oem, another space, get underscore unlock underscore data hit enter and you're going to see this long list of code right here um this is your unlock code data right here so all you got to do is highlight this um if you do not have quick edit enabled on your command prompt just right click hit mark and then you can highlight it since you have that highlighted hit control c to copy that and then you can minimize that we're going to hop over to our search and open up a notepad then right click, paste the information into here, and you now see we have this very long string of code. What we want to do with this is just put this all into one continuous length of code. So just go to the beginning of it and backspace it so it goes into one single strand. We don't want it in multiple strands like it is right now. And go ahead and backspace that. So you can now see we now have just one single strand. So from here, just go ahead and highlight all of this right click copy that now after you have this copied right here 
we're going to go ahead and go to the Motorola website. And I'm just going to type in uh, Motorola Unlock Bootloader. And I'll put a link in the description below for Motorola's site here as well. Oh, because Motorola, you actually have to go to their official website to unlock your bootloader. Uh, right here just shows you kind of the risks, and you can read through this if you do if you uh, do want to. Oh, what happens when you unlock your bootloader for your device? We're gonna go ahead and click next, and go ahead and sign into my account real quick. And it is loading up. Signing me into my account. Unlock my device. Scroll down through here. Um, right here where it says six, what you're gonna want to do is right click on that bar right there below step six and hit paste. And then from here, select can my device be unlocked. And you're gonna see right here that mine says your device does not qualify for bootloader unlocking. Um, this is because my bootloader is obviously already unlocked. Um, so when you do that, you'll see something down here that says request unlock key. So again, mine's not showing up just because my bootloader is already unlocked. But when you see that button below here, um, right, should be right here below the legal terms and agreements, somewhere down here, blue button like the one that looks like it's uh, can my device be unlocked, that kind of similar design. You're going to go ahead and click on that, and you're going to get a pop-up window saying, uh, are you sure you want to proceed with this? Uh, this will void your warranty for your device. You're going to hit OK, and then Motorola will send you an email um, regarding your unlock code. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into my email to show you that. And I'm going to number. I guess we're going to type in. Uh, do I still have it? That's a good question. If I've got that email still. Um, I might have deleted it just because I didn't really have a use for it anymore. But you will get an email um, saying like, hey, here is your unlock code. And uh, you're going to go ahead and copy that code when you find it. I just want to make sure I don't have that code in here. So cause if I do, I do want to show it to you. I'm um, right here. So you're going to get an email from do not reply at Motorola.com. This showed up in my promotions tab in Gmail. So just make sure it's not in your spam or something. Let's say here's a unique code to unlock the bootloader of your Motorola phone. Unlock code right here. Um, so it says, please follow instructions. There's a link, but we don't need to do that. All we have to do is highlight this, right click, and copy. So from here, now that we have our unique unlock code, we're going to hop into our command window one more time, and we're going to type in fastboot devices and hit enter. Now this is just to make sure fastboot is working on here. So if it says fastboot right there, it means it's working and it's online. Um, this is just to make sure it's working, because if fast boot is not working, then you're not going to have much luck. Um, but if you see something like that where it just has your number of your phone and fast boot next to it, it means everything is online, everything is working like it should. So from here, we're going to type in one last command. We're going to type in fast boot OEM unlock space, then right click, and where'd it go? So I hit right click and it already popped up there. Again, this is because I have quick edit enabled on um, my command prompts. So you're going to paste that in there. You can see I have fast boot OEM unlock and then my unique code right there, F V E G um, T T X, the same code that was right here. Just pasted it right into my command prompt. Now from here, you're going to click enter on your computer. Now I'm not going to do this since I already have my um, phone unlocked. But once you do hit enter from that thing, on your Moto X over here, it's going to go completely black. You're going to see a very small purple font, uh, something that says unlock. And it's going to wait a few minutes and it's going to say unlocked and very small purple font onto the left-hand side of the device. And then it's going to go ahead and it's going to um, reboot. We're going to go ahead and do a normal power up right now. And then you're going to get a screen that looks like this and said, warning, bootloader unlocked. And then it is going to go through the normal boot process. So this initial boot process will take some time. Don't be alarmed if it gets stuck on the uh, boot, uh, boot animation screen for a while. Um, mine did. I was getting kind of freaked out, but that is completely normal if it takes longer than it usually does. And that's going to say Android is upgrading or Android is updating. 
and then it's going to be back and you're going to be ready to go. And once your device finishes booting up again, mine's going faster, yours will take some time because mine is already unlocked. Once you get through that, your device will be completely unlocked and your bootloader is there. And you've completed the first step in gaining root access to your device. And now, congratulations, um, you have an unlocked bootloader on your Motorola phone. So guys, congratulations, you have just now su successfully unlocked the bootloader for your Moto X. Um, if you have any issues or if you ran into any roadblocks along the way, please let me know down in those comments below so we can get into discussions and I can help you figure out uh, what you might have done wrong or why you're experiencing any difficulties. And let me know in the comments as well if this went su successfully for you. Because um, this is a not too confusing process. It's a bit irritating at times. It's really a not too difficult. So if you have any issues or troubles on the way, please, I do want to help you. Let me know in those comments below. Also, kind of a quick plug, or not really a plug for me, um, but there's a great community on Google+, Plus, the Moto X community. If you just type in Moto X, a community about 12,000 or so members. Um, I've been in that for a week or so, kind of logging my experiences with rooting the Moto X. Um, definitely consider joining that so we can get more discussions on there. Uh, really great people on there kind of sharing our experience together. So as you root your device, a lot of great people on there to discuss um, with a bunch of people who really love this great device right here. Um, if there's any other how-to videos you'd like to see me do in the future, again, I've got the one coming up very soon about how to flash TWRP and how to gain root access coming up very shortly. Um, so hopefully this went well for you. Definitely give it a like if it help, helped you out because a like helps me out as well. And make sure uh, you go ahead and hit that subscribe button or consider it. Really would appreciate it to make sure you do not miss the video of how to flash TWRP and how to gain root access and for other future videos coming up here on my channel. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye.